there's a few different symbols that I added here with the black paint coming down over the dream catcher I wanted that to be a sort of symbol of how the um, how Europeans kind of came over and like l loomed over the Aboriginal culture the here I have the cross with the black paint coming out of it the language lesson sign um, I but on this side I have, it's kind of hard to see and I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but I have this uh, light gold paint coming out of this side and a bit of jade because I know, I was doing some research, I found that with Aboriginal culture, jade is an important stone and um, I thought that having culture from Aboriginal people coming in with the gold in the background would be a good symbol of purity and it being untainted. Um, Pardon? Oh, uh, every single piece here, we were told to find a photograph and we did a technique in which we press the image to the wood and uh, put this gel stuff on it and then wash away the paper but the ink stays. I wanted to find an image in which it showed just how drastically, even before like sleeping, resting, children were made to pray to a culture or pray to a deity that they don't personally believe in I'm only forced to believe in and I thought it would be a good image to use and but I also didn't want to get one that would be immensely graphic because of course but um I wanted to find one that showed just how like day or night they would train these children to believe in something they didn't when they were first brought into the world in the butterfly, I we were given a bun, a tub of different materials, and I found that, and I knew the moment I saw it, even without even thinking of the scissors, that I want to use the butterfly as a really good symbol of the purity and freedom that the Aboriginal culture had. So I thought, what a good way to represent how unfairly things were taken away than with a butterfly's wings being clipped off.